Hi, my name is Sean Caffrey and I work with Genome Alberta as the Director of the Alberta Epigenetics Network. I was asked to answer a question for you today. The question was, what are your thoughts on genetics versus geography for athletes and their DNA? Um, and of course, like any good question, this is a, is a complicated question. I think there's sort of two aspects to this. First is, how much of a, an athlete's performance is based on their genes and how much is based on the environment, their training, uh, where they grew up, etc. And, you know, there, we have thousands and thousands of traits, phenotypes, and thousands of genes that produce these phenotypes, and they all interact with the environment in complex ways. And so a, a trait like, say, eye color might be mostly based on the genes you have, so maybe 80%, whereas other traits may be far, far less and far more dependent on the environment. So it's a, really it's a complex, complex interaction. So you think of um, athletes, traits that might be important might be height, and that might be have a fairly large uh, genetic component, um, or say lung capacity. Like if you look at people living at high altitudes, say Tibetans, for example, they have genetic different genes that allow their blood to carry more oxygen per milliliter of blood. And of course, that would be an advantage for endurance or other kinds of activities. And um, I guess other sort of part of this question was geography, right? So if you look at, um, for example, Tibet again. People from Tibet, because of their env the, the environment they've adapted to, have genes that help their blood carry more oxygen. So if your athletes from Tibet might have an advantage. The other c common example is, is runners from Kenya. Kenya produces an extra extraordinary number of great runners for their population size. And um, although there's no, no single gene that has been found in Kenyans, as far as I know, that explains their relatively high performance at long, long distance running, they do have uh, blood that carries a higher proportion of, a higher proportion of oxygen. Uh, a lot of Kenyans live at a fairly high altitude. And they tend to have long, lean bodies, which may be good for endurance running. So it's still an open question how much the genes directly affect this, but there's probably a certain, there's certainly, uh, certainly a component that's important. Um, other explanations for Kenyans' great uh, performance is their lifestyle, diet, and the fact that maybe they have more interest in running and more runners. So it's, uh, it's, it's certainly not one or the other, but an uh, interplay. And so I think that genes, environment, uh, genes and geography definitely have a role and do play a difference, but so does culture. And you're not going to find any Kenyans that are great at hockey because they are not interested in hockey. They have no ice. So um, that, that's a way. So, so in that situation, the culture and the environment plays a huge role. Um, it's probably the only explanation why Canadians tend to excel at hockey is because of our culture.